All right, well, last week we told you about an incredible discovery of a bizarre supernova, which some are saying is equivalent of finding a dinosaur still alive today. Randy Campbell, observing support manager at Keck Observatory, joins us live via Skype this morning to talk more about the star. Good morning, Randy. Yes, so this is a very exciting uh, supernova. Uh, supernova are exciting in general because of the most violent explosion in the universe. So, and this uh, particular object. Yeah, so uh, tell was, us a little bit more about it. So, this star is known as, let me get this right, IPTF14HLS. Yes? Yes. All right, now it has and, astronomers kind of around the world puzzled. What is it that makes this star so bizarre? Well, this supernova was unlike any other of the other violent explosions that we see in the universe, which are supernova in general. This one refused to die. It lasted for over two years at its peak brightness and rebrightened five times, which is very unusual. We've never seen this in any of the other thousands of supernovae that we've observed over the many past years. So this is kind of uh, challenging our knowledge now of supernovas, right? Because it's stuff that we've never seen before. Uh, that's right. It's it's unlike any other, and it must have some other source of power that we're trying to understand, a source of energy. And uh, so it's challenging the theories. The authors of this paper, uh, led by Ayer Akavi of uh, the University of California, Santa Clara, uh, discovered this through the Palomar Transient Survey and observed it with his network of uh, telescopes positioned around the globe and monitored it for over a couple of years and was very surprised to see it stay bright and even rebrighten five times over that period of time. Very unusual for a supernova. So interesting. Um, so how are there any explanations then that you can think of as of right now for the unusual behavior? Well, the authors of this paper considered several different mechanisms that could explain it, but the evidence didn't fit very well in any of them, and so several of them were ruled out. The most likely explanation is that it was an even more massive star than the typical nova, which is about 50 times as massive as the sun. Wow. This one was probably on the order of 100 times as massive as the sun, and that's very unexpected because those supermassive stars were probably only existed in the early universe. That's why it was dubbed perhaps a dinosaur of the early universe. And I love that. I love that uh, phrase that everyone's saying. That's really interesting because it really shows, you know, and tells people just how rare it is and how interesting. I think it's so cool. Um, so what's it doing now? What's the star doing? Well, it's starting to fade away and become a little less interesting, but uh, it as the material uh, expands and, and reveals some of the inner core of what's going on here, we may find some new clues to help explain uh, what's going on inside of this super powerful, violent explosion. That is so cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us and talking a little bit more about it and explaining it to us because this is a big story. Again, we're learning a lot about something that, you know, wasn't had ever discovered before. So very, very neat. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, Thank aloha. You. Have a good one. How cool is that? Thank you. Oh, so neat.